Hi guys, I'm back. So what we done is we let the color process on her for 15 minutes. And then we went to the tub and we gave her a really good bath with the key to that being a really, really good bath. Um, you wanna keep washing and rinsing until all the color stops running. This is one of the main concerns I have with people. They wanna know how you get this bright color to not run onto this when you're washing. I didn't do anything special. I set the dog in the tub. I immediately soaked her up really, really well. Okay, um, soaked her up really, really well, rinsed. It still had a lot of color in it. I washed again and then I just kept rinsing until the water was running clear. If you're rinsing and it looks like the hair that's not supposed to have dye is colored, whatever you do, do not take the dog out of the tub and dry it. Just keep soaping that up and rinsing it and it will come out. Once you dry the dog, you have set in the color, okay? So that is the important part. I did nothing special, put her in the tub, just a really good bath. Okay, and we took her and we blow dried her and you can see how nice these colors turned out. Um, and at the beginning of the video, you see how dark she had a lot of really dark hair in her back. This takes phenomenal. I love the Opal's dye, beautiful colors. We've got the red, the orange, the yellow, the darker green, which is the profound green, the darker blue, which is the navy, the purple, and then we did the red again.